Okay guys, I'm up underneath the tractor here. And I just wanted to give you a, a look at uh, when that hydraulic pump is out, what it looks like from uh, underneath the tractor looking up. i give you an idea. That little rod right there with the ball on the end, that goes into that swivel arm where the the, the valves are uh, at the back where it had that torpedo looking valve and the uh, the other little valve that was on that that swivel arm that hole in the, that one end of that swivel arm th that ball goes in there so that arm regulates the swivel of those that swivel that pushes and pulls on those those two valves so it's absolutely imperative that that gets into the uh, into that hole. That ball is in that hole. Otherwise it's not going to work. And the other thing is, is you'll notice right here from underneath there's a hole right here with these bolts on either side. This is where the high pressure fluid, hydraulic fluid, gets pumped up from the pump up top through this tube. I don't know if you can see that to that piston that's up, that big round thing up in there, cast iron part, is a, uh, uh, a hydraulic piston that runs your three-point hitch up and down. And up in this area in here, there was a lot of gunk and whatnot. I cleaned that all out real good. Same with the back end up under there. Cleaned all that out. Cleaned the, the holes out. Some of these holes don't go through like this one. Uh, but like this one and this one and the two opposing it on that side over there go all the way through into the oil chamber. So I think I'm going to put some sort of compound on those threads so that... Uh, oil doesn't drip down through the alongside the bolt and under the head and, and washer okay so I've got a little little uh, two-ton floor jack hydraulic floor jack that I'll uh, I'm going to set that pump on the end there and just slowly jack it up so that uh, I can get it to, to line up on that ball and also line up these bolt holes. Uh, if I had a couple of bolts, extra bolts, I'd take and cut the heads off and I'd put a couple of bolts in, like one here and one over there or something, use those as alignment pins. Because uh, what happens, you get that pump, it's heavy, It's you're, you're trying to get it up there and it's not lining up and the gasket starts sliding around and and it just gets to be a real mess so you know but this with the jack here I should be able to gently raise that up in there and uh, you know I can even leave it uh, proud of, of hitting the surfaces and get the bolt started a uh, couple three four threads before I actually push it all the way up to it, till it mates and then I know I'm good to go that way so that's my neck George to get this pump on there